Hi guys, welcome to our first official game of the season. On my way here, I actually did a podcast in my car where I'm just going to share my thoughts, my ideas, and what I'm going to be doing on this channel. We are a very short bench tonight. I think we have a total of eight guys. So right into the game, I just wanted to give you a quick update about the custom hoodies that I'm getting made to celebrate the fact that we hit 5,000 subscribers. So I wanted to go with a vintage style like hockey jersey hoodie where it looked like you were wearing a hockey jersey, but obviously it's a hoodie with a hood and like you got the skate lace and all that stuff. So when I finally came across a company who was doing more like new style versions of those, I was like, that's exactly what I want. Like, yes, it's not the vintage look, but the quality is exactly what I'm looking for. It's all like hand stitched, real patches, real embroidery, and all the good stuff that I really wanted in these sweaters. So we're going back and forth on a couple different designs, and I wanna know what design do you guys like best? I got a black and gray one, a full black, a full red, and a full blue. Let me know which one do you guys like best. With that being said, whatever has the highest votes, is what I'm gonna get made. Now in terms of pricing, I know some of you guys were saying you would love one, but don't wanna spend a certain amount of money. Now, with that being said, in order to make these cheap, I wouldn't be able to go with the quality that I want. And to be honest, I would rather have a quality sweater that lasts longer, that's slightly more expensive, than a lower quality, cheaper sweater that I'm not really gonna care about. Because I really wanted to make this sweater for myself, I wanna go with the quality. So I think that they're gonna be priced around, I'm still working out the details, so please do not quote me, but it's gonna be anywhere between 75 to 85 American dollars per hoodie, plus shipping. I would love, I'm trying to work out a way to make them a little bit cheaper, but as of now, that's what I think they're gonna have to be. Unfortunately, this isn't like a distribution place where they can ship it out to you. So they actually have to ship me all the hoodies and then I gotta go and ship them to you guys. So this is a little different than what my old website was where you just order it and they'll ship directly to you. So there's a little bit more additional costs when it comes to these. And I just wanna be honest because I want you guys to understand where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to make a ton of money off of these hoodies it solely is just to represent that i can't believe we've hit 5,000, and i'm just super excited and i wanted to make something to celebrate that so if you're interested let me know in the comments and again i don't know the exact pricing or when they'll exactly be ready but i just want to gauge who's, who's interested in it and um, then i know how many i need to order so let me know for sure if you guys want one so with that being said i hope you guys like the design um i think they're pretty cool i'm excited to get my own and uh, I hope you guys are too. So I hope that answers your questions. And if you have any other questions about these hoodies, let me know in the comment section as well. And I will do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. So hope you guys enjoy this video. It's the first one of the summer. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get back into the game. All right, so in the winter season, I got really busy and I ended up falling behind. What a goal, oh my God. So as I was saying, um, in the winter, I got a little bit behind and I was actually three weeks behind posting. So I've actually haven't played in two weeks and I can very much feel it. All right, so on that goal there, it all started because I couldn't capture that I shot.
Ice it! That's not an ice. I hit my pad and went in. So on that goal there, I thought he was gonna try to raise it, so I lift my right leg up, thinking I would be able to stop it high. Turns out it went low underneath my pad, and then it hit my inside pad and went in. I felt it the whole way. Yeah, it went in. They're debating whether or not it was goaltender interference. Yeah! Alright, they counted the goal. So on that goal there, he stopped, and when he stopped, I thought he was gonna go back to my glove side. But then he just put it in blocker because I didn't commit to going all the way to the blocker. The way I was just overthinking and trying to get ahead. I almost that twice. I know. I was ready for the glove, that's why. <laughs> penalty shot! What do you guys think? Should that have been a penalty shot? He's in a nice shot. Somebody give him pressure. Oh. 
All right, let's try that again. Good game, man. Good game, boys. Good game. Good game, boys. Good game. All right, so not the outcome we were hoping for. Lost four to three. Um, tough loss right at the last second. Literally 1.2 seconds left, but what are you going to do? All right, so that's the start of the season. If you haven't yet, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.